This is tutorial number 12, and it covers how to use the auto constraint feature within CATIA v5. To start off, let's open up tutorial part number 12, which is located on the DVD. This part is the same sketch that we created in tutorial number 11. So to start off, let's go and let's edit this sketch. So go into the part body, find the sketch, and click edit. Now, from the sketch that you made before, you may have some dimensions, but in this tutorial, I have no dimensions whatsoever on the sketch. If you have some, just delete it right now. Now what I'm going to show you is that, say we just created this sketch by hand right now, and we have no dimensions on it whatsoever. If we wanted to get everything dimensioned and parameterized, all we have to do is select all the lines, either like this, or by going around, pressing Control, and selecting each individual line. So once you have everything selected, then you need to click Auto Constraint. So you'll find Auto Constraint on the side here. So click Auto Constraint. It's going to tell you that you have six lines that are selected. Click OK. And now it's constrained everything within your sketch. So now there's no dimension that can be added that won't cause it to be over constrained. So right now you have all the dimensions and your sketch is fully parameterized. Now I'll just show you, I'll try to throw in a few dimensions, so I'll try to throw a dimension in here because there's nothing shown right here, but the sketch turns purple. It's purple because everything else is already controlling the length of that line. So I'll delete that. Now I'll try to throw one down here. Same thing, everything turns purple. I'll delete it. So now our entire sketch is fully parameterized. Now we can exit this sketch, and we can do what we want with it, and now everything's fully parameterized. It's how we want it, and there's no way to adjust it further. So let's go back into the sketch one more time. So we can go edit, or a quicker way, just to show you, you can just double click, and it'll bring you right into the sketch. Now let's delete all of the uh, dimensions. So let's delete it all, and I'll just show you, you can also use auto constraint just on a few lines. So we'll select this line and this line, and we'll click OK. And now it's giving us all the dimensions we need for those two lines to be constrained. Now, in the original one that we had, we didn't see this dimension and this dimension because all the other ones actually controlled it. So let's delete these ones again, highlight the whole thing, auto constrain it one more time, and we have everything constrained. So the auto constraint is a really good feature. If you've created your sketch, you know it's right. You just haven't put any uh, parameters or dimensions on it yet. Just hit auto constraint and everything will pop up. Another way that this is really good is that if you've created a sketch such as this, and instead of going manually back and forth with the constraint and clicking each one to pull it up, if you auto constraint them all, now you have all the dimensions and you're able to go in and edit them all. So it's a quicker way to get in there to edit all the dimensions you have to what you want it to be. So it's quicker than going back and forth constraining each part. Auto dimension, it'll bring up all the dimensions you need, and you're able to go through and change them all. And this concludes our tutorial on how to use the auto constraint feature within CATIA v5.